So without further ado, let me welcome already on stage uh, OFE's uh, CEO, Sachiko Moto, to welcome you all. Thank you, Astor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the EU Open Source Policy Summit. Really excited to get started, and my excitement grew uh, while waiting uh, for for the event to start. It was great to see, um, you know, to read the chat in 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 the chat. Um, just it adds a little bit of um, of the pre foston feeling. It's 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 the eighth year that we are hosting a policy focused event on the day right before foston and. To us, it's always one of the highlights of the year, um, and it has been an important opportunity for us to bring together leaders of open source that are usually in town for FOSS, the policymakers that are based in Brussels. Now, over the years, uh, the event has grown from a fairly intimate gathering, I would say, to what is perhaps the main forum focused on open source and public policy. Uh, not just in Europe, uh, but possibly anywhere. Um, so it, it's 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 a good moment to be here uh, this year, uh, meeting virtually for the first time, uh, which has allowed us to have many more participants than than ever before. I looked this morning, and we had over a thousand people registered to attend today. And we'll see; it might fluctuate a little bit depending on what time zone people are people are in. Uh, we have people from all over the world uh, registered today. Uh, and so here I want to extend a big thank you to the Linux Foundation and their events team for supporting us in organizing the event and enable, enabling us to, to scale up um, to the level of online attendance. And also a thank you to our longstanding supporter Red Hat for sponsoring this event. Now we have a, a truly amazing lineup of speakers today. Uh, I always say that, but you know, today we are really uh, overwhelmed and eager to get started. Um, and so just before we kick off, I wanted to give a few words of reflection in order to put today's event and the scale of the event into context. Um, one year ago, at last year's event uh, in Brussels, uh, Pierce O'Donoghue uh, of the European Commission whom we are also for, fortunate uh, to have join us again this year, he, he gave a speech um, that we at OFE really took to heart. Uh, I don't know if it was intended that way, but for us, it was a moment of ask not what Europe can do for open source, but what open source can do for Europe. Peers really challenged uh, the open source community to engage more with the, with the most pressing and complex policy challenges uh, facing society. And it's not an exaggeration to say that um, that speech was one of the main inspirations for us to take this event to, to the next level. Uh, and so we are taking the conversation beyond digital policy to, to innovation, to the competitiveness of European industry and to, to job creation. And um, since that speech, OFE, I think, as you know, has worked with, with Fraunhofer ISI to deliver a study for DG Connect on the impact of open source software and hardware on the European economy. Um, the final results of this study are presented here today for the first time. Um, and it's, it's, it's the first major study of, its, of this kind since 2006. So it's a really big moment. Uh, it's it's um, it create it sort of it sets out to to quantify the value of open source for Europe and uh, and it's exciting for us to see and to be able to present some of those results today. Um, other important milestones uh, during last year um, have been the creation here in Brussels of Appel, um, the new European Open Source Business Association, and uh, we have also seen. Um, and supported uh, open source foundations establishing a stronger presence in Europe, uh, which is an important indicator of Europe's importance in the open source ecosystem. Um, now, in 2021, we aim to increase our ambition level further uh, to meet the Commission's challenge. Uh, at OFE, we are launching a new research program aimed at really defining the role that open source technologies uh, or open technologies, I should say, um, can play in responding to societal challenges. Uh, we believe that open source can and will play an important role in delivering the twin digital and green transformations in a post-COVID world. And we hope to support the development of policies 
that can maximize the value for citizens in Europe's digital decade. If you are interested in collaborating with us uh, on this project, uh, please reach out to me. And so we have tried to do our part in ensuring that we, uh, we that we can participate in those bigger conversations. And um, therefore, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the European Commissioner for the Internal Market, Thierry Breton, who, while not here live, will give us a welcome address and set the stage for today's summit. His participation is a, is a strong acknowledgement of our efforts and gives us encouragement to continue. Thank you all for being here, and I hope you will enjoy the conference.